So one thing that stuck out to me when I was looking at this year's list was how many healthcare companies are on, not just on the list, but so high on the list. I think it was like three of the 10 or something I wrote down here. Um, what does that mean? And, you know? and that, that, that means we're getting older and sicker. <laughs> I mean, that trend yeah. happens year after year after year. They're getting bigger and bigger with the aging of the American population. Yeah, I mean, the healthcare sector is now the second largest sector in the Fortune 500 in terms of overall revenue. And you saw, like you mentioned, McKesson is up to number five pharmaceutical right. services company. Um, United Health, uh, big insurance company. CVS Health has rebranded themselves CVS Health. You know, <laughs> so they're a retail chain, but they're also a health uh, oriented company, and they're number seven. So it, it is a huge trend, and, and as Alan says, it's been moving in that direction for a while. And is that because we're seeing consolidation in that market, kind of, you know, an ACA, you know, spin off kind of vibe? Well, there is some of that, but a lot of it is just demographics. Yeah. It's demographics is destiny. You know, it's, 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 it's going to keep going. That's not a cyclical trend. That is an underlying uh, uh, trend of, of business. And people are living longer and they need to fill. You know, prescriptions to keep going. Yeah. And, there's, <laughs> and there's good money in it, right? Yes. Yeah.